Hey everyone. I am Captain English. Don't judge. Please. And yes, as always, I have a mission. Oops. Excuse me. My phone. Hello? Yes. Really? Oh, that's just terrible. Not one single human knows what denotation and connotation means. A disaster it is, a disaster. Have a look. I have no idea what that even means. What? No way! <laughs> no. Oh no. I think I learned that when I was in sixth grade. I, I, no. Oh no, no idea. Teachers these days. But have no fear. I shall come to rescue. We'll start with denotation first. Denotation, is the dictionary definition of a word. Basically, the literal meaning. So all those dusty dictionaries you have at the back of your rooms can actually help you in your writing. Writers like you use these all the time. Obviously to get the meaning of word to include in their work. Let's go over some examples. We will be using the words light and dark. So have a go, grab a dictionary and find those words. Come on, don't just sit there. Quick! Noun. The natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. Verb. Provide with light. Adjective. Of little weight. Something very light. This is the dictionary definition of light. I never liked the dark, it's very scary. But, the show must go on. Look for the word dark, in the dictionary. Adjective. With little or no light. Noun. The absence of light in a place. This is the dictionary definition of dark. And again, once more just in case, denotation is the dictionary definition of a word. And to remember all that, denotation, dictionary and definition all begin with D. And now, for connotation. Connotation is as easy as denotation. Connotation are the mental, emotional and social associations our mind makes with words. Confusing? I hope not. There are connections with words. Now, we're going to do the connotations for light and dark. What comes to your mind, when you think of light? The sun. Which gives light to all. The light of life. Glowing faith, and honesty to represent light. The blinding energy of light and a light feather. Some. These are the connotations, for light. What comes to your mind, when you think of dark? Dark has many negative connotations. Evil, sadness, and death connotate with dark mysterious, fear, and despair, and a moonless sky, too. These are the connotations, for dark. Authors use connotation, to improve their writing, by using words that give ideas, even beyond its literal meaning. And again, connotation is the connections our mind makes with words. You can remember that, as connotation and connections both begin with C. Let's sum everything up. Connotations, or the associations of a word, depend on you and your thoughts. Denotation is what the actual meaning of a word is. Now, a bit, on word choice to give different ideas. Here, words like stench, and fragrance have pretty much the same meaning. But their connotations are quite different. Stench, is more a negative word than fragrance. Stench, reminds us of rotten eggs and garbage. Though, fragrance reminds us of pretty flowers. The author intends to do this, on purpose. 
Another example. What about describing a character? So, words like stubborn and determined have closely the same denotation, but stubborn, has a rather negative connotation and determined, has a more positive one. This gives the reader a clearer idea of what the writer wanted the reader to understand. Now you know how to differentiate between different words, to show what you want the reader to know, by everyone. And, I will see you all in the next episode of Captain English. Goodbye.